welcome everyone. Thank you for having patience. Uh, I'm off the next few days. It's Saturday and Sunday, so I will see if I can put up some more information on the video series. Right now, uh, I've really stalled, not just because of the work that I've had, but because of this level of information that's about to follow here in the next few videos. It is some of the biggest connections. It just totally fits in with the whole, the whole video perspective that I've been sharing with you guys for you know over a year now. This is going to be an integral part of the understanding. Now, yes, we're looking at chapter 19. I've given all the information here, chapter 19 of Ezekiel. As we talked about the Queen of Heaven, I've showed you those connections. You can see that it's real. You can see that it's biblical. We can understand the ins and outs of that relationship. What's important to get out of this, at least at this point, is to maintain this understanding that you're seeing with this Queen of Heaven as it relates to this first young lion. And then, of course, that first young lion we understand as Dan. And then I've showed you in the other videos that Dan is connected to Samson. Samson is a Danite. So as we see these Danites in the last days, Revelation, of which we're in now, that Dan is not recorded as in this membership of the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, that 144,000. Well, we showed because Dan is supposed to be that judge. And then of course, Dan is described as this lion leaping forth from the land of giants. Well, that should tell you an incredible amount of information that's going to connect to everything else that I've said, especially if you view chapter 19, because it is describing this relationship between this symbolic Dan, the Danites, this relationship that they have to the Queen of Heaven, and then, of course, this this agenda that they have of which is to ensnare and entrap men, mankind. And that's going to be via the, uh, the actions of these fallen sons of God. In other words, the Danites, all right? So maintain all that. Remember what you saw in Deuteronomy with, uh, with Dan being described as leaping forth as a young lion. I'm going to show you something in the book of Enoch that's going to connect that further. That's why I'm trying to stress that now so you can remember what we've talked about. So this is our further information that connects us to Dan. Now, at this point, I'm going to move forward. And what I want you to see is going to be huge. I could, I'm just going to go ahead and just go ahead and say it because it's so huge. Words are not going to be able to describe how important this is. At this point, I want you to notice right here. The nations also heard of him. He was taken in their pit, and they brought him with chains into the land of Egypt. This is what I'm about to talk about. This is telling you, and I've got other information that's going to support this. Now, I'm not trying to tell you something that I want you to believe. I'm trying to tell you something that I understand, and that I understand more about this than I'm going to be able to share in these little videos. It connects with my great seal understanding about the tetrahedron of which is that uh, physics the terrestrial physics energy management that governs the laws of space time as spirit tries to apply itself to matter or as spirit frees itself from matter as above so too below it connects in with all that so the nations also have heard of him and he was taken in their pit and they brought him with chains into the land of Egypt well friends we're talking about the Great Pyramid that is in the Nile Valley. And what this is telling you, and what I'm going to further show you, is that this is the location of the abyss of where these beings are being kept in crystal. And it's going to be underneath the Great Pyramid of Giza in the Nile Valley. I'll be back. <laughs> 